Milky Way Cookie, are you unscathed? I'm fine, but we better put an end to this and fast. Ah! Oh boy, don't it! Goat, do not be frightened. Hide behind me. Ah! <laughs> Perhaps you should focus on protecting yourself first. You may be strong. Your powers are nothing compared to mine. I could crush you right now if I wanted to. Crush me? I might have been the one who tried to destroy a city, but you sound awfully violent. Speaking of, perhaps you should reconsider your decision to obliterate the entire universe? It will not make you feel better. I know from experience. Ha! You pathetic flatster! You think you know anything about me? The audacity! <laughs> as soon as I fuse with number 325 and become the Cosmic Donut, I shall destroy your galaxy before anything else. <laughs> and if you try to escape to a different star cluster, I will simply follow you and destroy it too. Should you run away to another galaxy, I'll crush the whole thing into pieces myself! Donut! What did you just say? has made you lose your mind! How dare you speak like that to me! So, is someone gonna tell us what they said, or...? <laughs> How dare you aim your donut beam at me! <gasps> Everyone, get on the train. Now! Yeah, we need to leave before he returns back to his original self. Run! <laughs> Dr. Evil Blaze looked ridiculously powerful. But you simply turned him into a donut. Poof! Just like that! A donut! <laughs> and away he rolled away. Biscuits and treats.
treats of all flavors, thank you for traveling with us on the rather bumpy Dream Express. The next stop is the final destination of this train, the Western Sky. Once the train stops, make sure to leave the station as soon as possible. We lost those pesky donuts, but they might be back. Looks like it is time to say goodbye. Over there, outside the window, is a faintly glowing galaxy. It is most likely the whipped cream galaxy, where our ways part. You donut? My apologies. Your language is still foreign to me. I wish you the very best, Donut. I would like to believe you wished me the same as well. No. Oh. <laughs> Please, do not cling on to me. Danger does not pursue you anymore. Travel freely, wherever your heart wishes. You understand me now? What's this creepy noise? Everyone, get off the train! on this pathetic train. Brain glaze. Like brainwash, but donut style. The reason why I haven't used my nut donut dough beam on you, pathetic creatures, is because I didn't want to delay the coming of the cosmic donut. <gasps> I admit, it was reckless of me. After all, we're talking about becoming the supreme overlord of the universe here. I can't believe I actually listened to your incessant whining just to bring my victory closer. It doesn't matter anymore. Number 325? I shall grant you the honor of becoming part of me. I will consume you and become the strongest being in this entire universe! Space Donut, fight back! Use your Duda! Let the donut and the donut fall converge! What is this? It suddenly became completely dark! <gasps> no. No, no, no! This isn't supposed to happen! Stop firing your donut beam, number 325, or we will turn into a useless little donut! Stop! Stop it right now! No! We're nearing infinite zero! I said stop! Stop it! No! Come on! Come on! Space Donut! Stardust Cookie, wake up! <sighs> Are you alright? I gotta admit, that was quite the shockwave, but I didn't expect you to pass out like that. This 
is a dark vortex. So that was not a dream. Dr. Evil Blaze's plans to become the Cosmic Donut failed. Yeah, yeah. Can you lend me a hand here? The train is going to get sucked in. Milky Way cookie! Everyone, hold on! It will try to pull the train out of this vortex! You don't... Uh, have to sacrifice yourself to save us! To, like, flee! No! Buckle your seatbelts! Vortex together. Our destination awaits us. All of us. And we're going to explore the galaxy together. Sharing snacks. We made it! But we got caught in the gravitational slingshot. We're going to accelerate way beyond the maximum allowed limits. Stardust Cookie, hold on to the train. We can use this boost and escape. Hurry. You go ahead. But what are you going to do? Dr. Evil Glaze and the Space Donut are probably as small as a single particle because of all that ridiculous pressure. Neither light nor time exists within the vortex. Not even the slumbering moon's power can reach there! I know. It is called the Horizon of Fate because no dessert has ever returned from the Vortex. But I must look beyond the Horizon. What? Stardust Cookie! <laughs> Dr. Evil Blaze tried to stop the donut beam. But having jammed the beam, he must have caused instability instead. If only I could try and push Dr. Evil Glaze away. Yes, I too know that feeling. Wandering across the void, without any sense of direction. swept away by a vortex, feeling nothing. Moonlight Cookie, I can only wonder what you were thinking, but you came to save me. What was your reasoning? I want to save the Space Donut. The Donut still... Still does not know what star flower crisps taste like, unpacked! He did it! Stardust Cookie really did it, Conductor! Alrighty! <laughs> It is a conductor's duty to deliver all her passengers to their destinations. Now, fasten your seatbelts. This train is about to reach the ultra-turbo light speed and catch up with our passengers, Stardust Cookie and Space.